Hello everybody, let's try to solve this simple distribute log problem. Uh, it has a good recall of what couple moments are, and it has a couple variables that we need to work with. So it's a pretty good recall to things we've learned in physics before. Uh, and I think the problem overall is just good to understand the concepts of distributed loads as well. So the question goes, the beam is subjected to the distributed loading. This one here and this one here, rectangular, triangular. Determine the length B of the uniform load and its position A on the beam such that resultant force and couple moment acting on the beam are zero. So the first part of this problem can be divided up as find the resultant force, which is equal to zero. So we have FR, which is gonna equal summation of forces at Y because we only have forces acting in the Y component and this is going to equal zero. We pick our convention, positive is upwards and we can go ahead and solve this problem. So we have zero, it's going to equal to the first distributed load. It's acting downward, so we have negative 40 pounds per feet over the area or the length of the span, which is B. And then for the second distributed load, we have positive acting upwards, one half since it's triangular distribution, 60 pounds per feet. And then the span it covers, six feet. So what do we have now? We have negative 40 B plus 180. And we could solve for B, bringing this over to the other side. Isolating B by dividing 180 by 40. And we are left with a number 4.5 feet. Now we can look at part B of the problem. All right, now we have everything set up from the first part of the problem. Now we need to find out what length A is. So length A has to be a certain distance away from F1 and F2, such that the moment produced at this point is going to be zero. Why did I pick this point though? What does this mean? So we know that we need this variable A. If I put this point anywhere else on this beam, it's gonna introduce a different variable into the problem, which is something that we don't want. Now, I hope that makes sense. The second part of this problem that needs to be reiterated is that when you have a couple moment, the summation of forces of a couple is going to equal zero. That's the unique thing about couples. So we found out before that F2 was 180 pounds. So we already know that F1 is going to be 180 pounds as well. And if you want to calculate it, you can do 4.5 times 40. So now that that's out of the way, we can confidently say that MR of A has to be zero so that no moment is induced at this point and that we can solve for the variable a without introducing any other variables. So how are we gonna solve for MR of a? It's pretty much what we've done before. We have that zero, in this case, is going to be equal to F1 times X1 plus F2 times X2. And we know that our convention is going to be positive counterclockwise. So, we plug and chug our numbers into this problem. We have a negative for this first F1. We have 180 pounds. And then the next part is kind of tricky where we add the variable or introduce it. We have A plus 4.5 over half. Why? Because we're taking the centroid of this distributed load to find that resultant force of it. And we're also adding A to take that whole distance from the point. And this is going to be feet, right? So that's the first part. The second part's a little bit easier where we consider F2 because we have positive 180 pounds. Why is it positive? Because from this point, we're going counterclockwise. And this point, negative, we're going clockwise. And then the distance that this is going to be, is gonna be 10 feet plus one third of six feet, right? 
because we know that this distance here is going to be one third based on the centroid of this uh, triangular distribution, and we have the 10 feet span from point A to this point, right? And that's also going to be feet. Now we're pretty much just solving for this variable A. So how are we going to do this? We just figure out what numbers we're left with. We have negative 180 A minus 405 plus 2160. Then once again, we're going to isolate for A. We can bring this over to the other side. We have 180 A is equal to 1755. Then we have A isolated, bringing this over to divide over 180. And A is going to be in the unit of feet, 9.75 feet. So why does this make sense? The couple moment acting on the beam should be zero. So this means that these forces F1 and F2 actually line up in the exact same position. So we have 9.75 plus 4.5 divided by 2 is actually going to equal 12 feet. And we know the distance down here is 12 feet. Creating a moment here equal to zero.